large clump of precipitation is making its way into Rhode Island. What's the latest? It's a rainy start this morning, Patrick. Uh, some of that rain coming down uh, moderately heavy right now. Let's go ahead and take a look first at our conditions outside and you can see the dampness as you travel over the highway this morning. Your windshield wipers needing to be on lights still on, even though the sun is up at this point, really a gray and damp morning and we're seeing that in Narragansett too. Threat tracker in the green for today. We do have a high surf advisory along the Rhode Island coastline from our South County beaches to New Bedford. You're going to want to use extra caution in the water today. That high surf going to lead to a high risk of dangerous rip currents. Wednesday's threat tracker low as well as Thursday. Leaving the house right now. You can see where the rain is pushing through. Uh, that is going to continue to lift to the north and east. So we see some of those moderate downpours along 95 and 295 this morning, all the way back into the western corner of Rhode Island. So Providence, Pawtucket, and Attleboro, this is heading your way. Smithfield with some downpours, enough to cause some ponding on the roadways. I expect that that rain will continue to slide to the east, and we're going to see things drying up as we bring an end to the morning commute. Around 70 degrees in Providence right now. 65 in Newport. Here's our front and as that front slides eastward, the rain will go with it. So going to come to an end from west to east during the day today. Still some high dew points. Anything above 60 we consider to be noticeable and when you get close to 70, it's close to oppressive. That's what we had yesterday, but notice the drier air two hour west behind the cold front. And so those dew points for us will actually drop through the day today. It's not going to be a significant drop by the end of the day, but we'll at least fall into the lower 60s which will make for a more comfortable day, make us less prone to the low clouds and the fog lingering. In fact, it's a cloudy, damp start this morning, but those clouds should clear out by midday across Rhode Island and into the mid-afternoon in eastern Massachusetts. So uh, finishing the day brighter and drier. And we'll hold on to that dry air for the evening hours. Commuting into work this morning, early showers as lights are on, brightening up in the afternoon. It will still be a gusty day, still wind gusts to 30 miles per hour. So you'll be noticing that along the coastline, mid to upper 70s there, about 80 in uh, Wickford and Hope Valley, lower 80s, Woonsocket, Johnston, East Providence, West Warwick near 82 degrees, and we'll be close to 80 in New Bedford, even Fall River around 80 degrees, with temperatures into the lower 80s in Seekonk and Attleboro, Taunton in the afternoon. So at the beaches, again, you'll need to use some extreme caution if you're swimming or trying to get some uh, waves in, high surf advisory will lead to that high risk for rip currents and there is a small craft advisory in effect on the bay still gusty with those wave heights as high as one to three feet we will fall through the 70s this evening late night lows around 64 dry skies for you there is a slight chance of a shower on wednesday afternoon but the majority of the day looks dry for any outdoor plans highs in the lower 80s, about 80 for your high on Thursday. Some of the moisture from that system in the Gulf of Mexico may interact with a cold front for Friday, Friday night. So it could lead to some tropical downpours, highs around 80. I have us dry most of Saturday. Could see some showers lingering early in the morning.